friends today we will study the structure of hemoglobin the word hemoglobin consists of two words heme plus globin heme is a prosthetic group containing iron and globin is a globular protein the molecular weight of hemoglobin is 64500 actually hemoglobin is a alpha 2 beta 2 hydro tetramer hydro tetramer means it contains four units and the four units are different two alpha chains and two beta chains the alpha chains contains 141 amino acids and beta chains contains 146 amino acids so in the structure of hemoglobin there is a heme group at the center attached to four protein chains two alpha chains and two beta chains the nitrogen atom of the histidine residues are attached to the iron atom let me consider the structure of heme in the structure of heme there is a iron atom at the center attached to the four pyrin ring what is four pyrin ring actually it is four pyrrole rings four pyrrole groups attached to each other by ch groups they forms a complete network and the iron is present in the center of it the nitrogen atom of the pyrrol groups are coordinated to the iron atom there are various substituent present at the end of the pyrrol rings these are methyl groups and these are vinyl groups and these are propionic acid groups in the deoxyhemoglobin it means when the oxygen is not attached to heme group the iron is in plus 2 oxidation state plus 2 oxidation state is a high spin state the two electrons are of the same spin they are present in the different subshells so the radius of iron is larger it does not get fit in the hole made up by the nitrogen atoms so it remains slightly above the hole and it does not form a planar structure it forms a square pyramidal structure when oxygen come in come, come in contact with it it forms oxyhemoglobin in oxyhemoglobin iron comes in plus 3 oxidation state plus 3 means the electrons get paired the electrons get paired so the radius become smaller and the iron comes in the hole and forms a planar structure there is a type of cooperative binding in the hemoglobin it means when the iron comes in planar state there comes a change in the conformation of alpha chain so it get binds to oxygen molecule the binding in this chain enhances the binding of this chain its conformational change gets and it binds to the oxygen molecule the binding of this chain makes a conformational chain in the another beta chain and this get attached to the another oxygen molecule much more firmly the binding of this chain makes a conformational chain in this chain and this get attached to the oxygen molecule much more firmly so we see that when one molecule get attached to one ring one chain the all chains get attached to all oxygen molecules so we see a type of cooperative bonding it means in one time one hemoglobin molecule binds to four oxygen molecules and forms oxyhemoglobin thank you for seeing this